Humans have been advancing our knowledge for as long as we have been on Earth, and the more we learn about the inner workings of our world, the more we learn that there is to discover, and the search for new knowledge endlessly continues. Some advances are medically life-changing, while others change the way that we live our lives. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three cases where scientific discoveries have helped us to understand the world that we live in. Scientists have seen a mystery orbit in space that could solve a puzzle about black holes. Black holes have gripped the minds of great intellectuals for decades, yet exciting revelations are still occurring, giving us more clues to the constantly growing puzzle. Recent discoveries have given more answers to the mass gap. Scientists have previously operated under the assumption that the maximum mass of a neutron star the celestial body that may develop into a black hole was 2.5 solar masses, or 2.5 times the mass of the Sun, and that the minimum mass of a black hole was 5 solar masses. This left an uncertain gap, and the space between 2.5 and 5 solar masses that was not accounted for and so became known as the mass gap. Until recently, the mass gap was a relatively theoretical issue, as no objects that fell within this class had been discovered. An object discovered in August 2019, reported on in June 2020, has been found to weigh 2.6 solar masses, prompting the question, is this the lightest black hole yet to be discovered, or the heaviest neutron star? Professor Vicky Caligera of Northwestern University commented that we've been waiting decades to solve this mystery. She emphasizes that regardless as to the ultimate class of the object in the mass gap, the discovery breaks a record. The signals picked up that alerted physicists to the discovery were created through the merging of the strange object with a black hole at a staggering 23 solar masses. This prompted a series of gravitational waves throughout space, which were detected in our observatories on Earth. LIGO referred to this signal as highly unusual, prompting further study and research. The two bodies interact in an unexpected way, shedding an element of uncertainty on the once presumed to be accurate understanding of black hole formations. More observations and data collection will need to take place in order to confirm this. This information will presumably be gathered through the use of light-based telescopes. The questions that are now being tackled following the discovery of this object at 2.6 solar masses are why has it been so difficult to locate items within the mass gap if they are out there? Is the mass gap real at all? Are the measurements for the mass gap incorrect? And how are neutron stars and black holes truly formed? Has our understanding of this celestial phenomena changed? The light emissions, whilst limited due to the object becoming engulfed by the black hole, are being tracked from the Virgo and LIGO observatories. Though the apparent destruction of the mass gap object means only a minor observation could be noted. As technology advances, we can only hope to discover more objects within space like this, as we strive to ask more questions and gain more answers. From the exciting revelation of new items to discoveries that make us question what we already know, the searching and exploring of space is never-ending. We can only hope to find answers to the puzzles out there and continue to make our way through the universe. The methane cycle on Mars Only a few years ago, NASA made an incredible discovery in which the initial signs of life on Mars arose for NASA astrobiologists and research scientists back in 2004, and then again later confirmed back during the landing of the Martian probe in 2014. The private space agency originally saw signs of a methane plume ejecting from the surface of Mars and began to quickly theorize its implications as an organic molecule of which only finds natural formation via the creation of a variety of bacteria. After many sleepless nights, engineers of the space agency worked to send a Martian rover with the capability of testing the Martian surface for additional organic molecules. Later in 2014, Martian rover Curiosity began collecting evidence of methane traces in the Martian atmosphere and made a startling discovery. The Martian rover found that the methane on Mars grew more concentrated by season in the Martian atmosphere and directly correlated with the Martian seasons overall. 
This led researchers to believe that this correlation between concentration by season was additional proof to the hypothesis that Mars contains some form of life. Methane is also an organic molecule, and the majority of methane on Earth also correlates with our seasons, as certain bacteria and microbes eject this organic molecule into the atmosphere during summer and autumn seasons, similar to what the data shows in spikes of methane across the Martian atmosphere. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the Red Planet, the odds of this observation seem to be more and more promising with the passing years, as Curiosity uncovers additional complex organic molecules and continues its drilling processes to locate biosignatures of life. Cold Blob in the North Atlantic Ocean In 2015, researchers found a strange anomaly on the global temperature maps. 2015 was the warmest year ever recorded. However, one part of the North Atlantic Ocean appeared blue on the temperature maps and was found to be much colder than the rest of the ocean. The anomaly, known as the cold or blue blob, was located near Iceland and Greenland in the North Atlantic Ocean. This anomaly sparked concern amongst scientists all over the world as it was initially considered to be a result of global warming. Initially, researchers suggested that the unusual cold spot was a result of a slowdown of the process known as Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. It is described as the interaction between salt levels and cold and hot ocean temperatures in the North Atlantic Ocean. Researchers believe that the phenomenon is caused by the melting ice in Greenland. As a result of this melting ice, the fresh water is poured into the ocean, affecting its temperature as well as salt levels. It was believed that the Gulf Stream, which is the warm current in the Atlantic Ocean, was slowing down, causing the cold blob. And if the slowing down process continued, it could alter the climate of the entire region. However, recent research has revealed that the circulation of the warm and cold water across the ocean has not changed, and the Gulf Stream is still flowing at the same speed it was flowing a few years ago. This leaves the cold blob a significant and solved mystery for the climate experts all over the world. But what do you make of these three recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.